Hi my dear children welcome to another super cool super amazing and absolutely awesome session that we are going to have right now right here on this very moment on a very very important topic that is called the circulatory system before i get into the uh, intricacies of the subject as such let me tell you a little bit about myself a little bit about the lovely platform that's called vedantu before i start teaching you in detail about this topic which is very very important whether you're sitting for neat 2019 20 or 21 yes okay so let's start by telling you a little bit about myself i'm dr vani and once again on behalf of vedantu i welcome you all to this super cool session i started my teaching journey way back in 2010 from this awesome organization which is called the lakshya forum for competitions and uh, we have been successful in bringing out aims as well as neat top rankers from there i moved on to another fabulous institute which is one of the top institutes of the country known as mt educare and i've also recorded a couple of video recordings for robomate and from there i came back to this amazing amazing platform that we are all a part of called vedantu so that's about me i've been teaching pre medical entrance students for close to a decade now yes and have been able to take out ranks not only in colleges of medicine across the country but even internationally so some of my students study medicine on scholarships from international universities as well uh coming to this amazing platform which is called vedantu vedantu is something which is uh, you know which is a revolution of sorts i would want to tell because this platform enables you to sit from wherever you are from your own cities from the comfort of your own homes and have access to quality education so aur kya chahiye maniye aap apni jagah par baithe hain aapko kahin jaane ki zarurat nahi hai aur right there if you have access to imagine the knowledge which is so good absolutely quality education agar aapko aapke ghar baith kar mil rahi hai and you have the ability to you know study and study from the best teachers of this country with the best technology that this country has to offer i think it's absolutely superb so come with that little introduction about ourselves let's start this amazingly super cool session so you all know that class 11th ka ek bahut hi bada aur important topic hai which is known as human physiology right animal physiology also known as human physiology is a very 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 important topic of class 12 in that particular topic kai log mujhe pehle se bhi jante honge because i have taken a lot of webinars i have taken a lot of youtube sessions so you must know me aap logon ne mere kabhi pehle videos dekhe honge webinars dekhe honge ho sakta hai aap mein se kuch hamare purane students bhi ho Yes, जो हमारे साथ रेगुलर क्लासेस भी लॉन्ग टर्म क्लासेस भी ले रहे हो सो इन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम माई डियर चिल्ड्रन आई विल टेल यू मैं इससे पहले वेबिनार ले चुकी हूं ऑन पार्ट ऑफ ब्लड पार्ट ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स ये बट नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास आई विल स्पेसिफिकली डुएल इन टू द प्रॉपर सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बींग सो कोल सो विद दैट लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज अमेजिंगली कूल सेशन येस परफेक्ट चलिए लेट स्टार्ट ओके no moving ahead these are certain facts now i hope ki jo zyada tar bacche hamara class abhi dekh rahe hain people who are sitting at homes and people who are watching kahi to neet ki taiyari kar rahe hain agar aap koi na kahi na kahi ya kuch neet ki taiyari kar rahe hain you should know that for this particular examination question facts pe question exceptions pe bahut aate hain especially when it related to system now if you are new to the class if you are old to the class you know how i teach if you are new to the class this is the material this is how teaching is done at vedantu this is the material you will have the entire chapter done in a material like this this particular material is called a wave book so after the end of session this is available to every student who's a part of vedantu for reviewing you can review it you can re-see it aap isko bar bar pause karke dekh sakte hain dobara you can see it multiple times jab tak ki aap khud baith kar apne notes na bana le or this entire material if you are part of vedantu if you have a username you have a login you have an id you are part of a long term courses you can even go back home i mean aap to ghar baithe honge you can डाउनलोड दिस इंटायर मटीरियल तो ये पूरा मटीरियल आप डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं इसको सेव कर सकते हैं इसका प्रिंट आउट ले सकते हैं और इसको कितनी मर्जी बार देख कर यू कैन मेक योर ओन नोट दैट्स हाउ द सिस्टम 
फंक्शंस सो कम यस प्रीवियस ईयर एमसीक्यूज इस थ्योरी के मटेरियल के बीच में होते हैं और मैं आपको उनके बारे में बताती रहूंगी कि ये आपका टॉपिक वन है ये आपका टॉपिक टू है यस yes, और इस टॉपिक में से इतने इतने एमसीक्यूज आए हुए हैं ये ये एमसीक्यूज और इनके आने के चांस हार्ट इज पंपिंग द ब्लड इन अ होलो कैविटी इट इज कॉल्ड द ओपन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम विथ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम वुड दैट बी कॉल्ड येस इट्स कॉल्ड अ ओपन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम Open circulatory system could be found in cockroaches, but if the heart pumps blood in blood vessels, right? So it's pumping blood in a blood vessel. So if the heart pumps blood not in a cavity but in a blood vessel, it is known as the closed type of circulatory system, wherein it pumps the blood in a blood vessel. It's found in human beings. It could be asked in a MCQ question. the entire now whenever the embryo is formed right whenever the embryo is formed ek embryo ke andar teen layers hoti hain how many layers are there in the embryo three those of you who attended classes with me know that this is a very very important mcq question and i have always focused on this right so ek embryo ke andar kitni layers hoti hai ek embryo ke andar teen layers hoti hai absolutely right बाहर की लेयर को हम एक्टोडर्म कहते हैं बीच की लेयर को हम मीसोडर्म कहते हैं और अंदर की लेयर को हम एंडोडर्म कहते हैं ये तीनों जर्म लेयर से ही पूरे का पूरा ऑर्गेनिज्म बनता है दीज आर नोन एज जर्म लेयर्स। सो इन द एम्ब्रियो द सेल्स फॉर्म थ्री फर्स्ट लेयर्स और थ्री लेयर्स विच आर द फर्स्ट लेयर्स ऑफ एन इंटायर ऑर्गेनिज्म एक पूरा ऑर्गेनिज्म बनने से पहले सेल्स की तीन बेसिक्स तीन सिंपल तीन बहुत ही बुनियादी लेयर्स बनती हैं। बाहर वाली लेयर का नाम होता है एक्टोडोम बीच वाली लेयर का नाम होता है मीसोडोम और अंदर वाली लेयर का नाम होता है एंडोडोम सो इट इज द मीसोडोम जिससे सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम बनता है दिस क्वेश्चन वुड हैव कम इन एमसीक्यूज एटलीस्ट टेन टाइम्स very 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 important mcq right now i told you right in the beginning of the lecture ki facts bahut important hai but facts ke sath aur kya important hai facts ke sath important hai exceptions so pura circulatory system ban gaya aapki mesoderm se the mesoderm has formed the entire circulatory system but your blood vessels have multiple linings right your arteries and your veins and your blood vessels have multiple linings the inner lining the inner most lining of the blood vessels and of the heart are formed from endoderm so it is the endoderm which forms the inner lining of the blood vessels and of the heart right now let's come to the role of the circulatory system the circulatory system does continuous chemical exchange of materials between animal body and environment right among different tissues of the body circulation the blood is going to be pumped to the lungs from the lungs we are going to inhale the oxygen and throughout the carbon dioxide right so continuous exchange of materials between animal body and environment happens through the circulatory system right the blood it will also go to the intestine in the intestine blood will form something which is known as villi ये वर्ड सुना आपने यस सो ब्लड वेसल्स होंगे विलाई में इंटेस्टाइन में वो क्या करेंगे वहां से दे विल एब्सॉर्ब ऑल द न्यूट्रिएंट्स दैट दे रिक्वायर इन द रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स ऑफ द लंग्स दे विल एब्सॉर्ब द ऑक्सीजन एंड लीव बिहाइंड द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड दे विल गो टू द ग्लैंड्स फॉर एग्जांपल दे विल गो टू द पैंक्रियास एंड कैरी इंसुलिन ये थायराइड के पास जाएगा ब्लड उससे क्या ले लेगा थायरोक्सिन राइट सो जितने भी एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स हैं एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स वो ग्लैंड्स होते हैं जिनके पास डक्ट नहीं होती हैं दोज ग्लैंड सलाइवरी ग्लैंड के पास डक्ट है जिनके पास डक्ट नहीं है राइट ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स सी इफ यूर इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ यूल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दिस बट इफ यूर इन क्लास इलेवेंथ फ्रेशली मूव आउट ऑफ क्लास टेंथ टू क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड यूर थिंकिंग वॉट इज एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड वॉट इज दिस एंड यू रियली वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर येस दैट मीन्स द टाइम इज राइट यू शुड बी एबल टू जॉइन विद आम टू is that clear because all of this we are going to be doing in detail but endocrine glands wo glands hote hain jahan pe duct nahi words for example the pituitary gland all these glands also shall be done in detail because endocrine system is another complete chapter co2 tissues jo hamari body ke tissues hain unme se co2 banta hai co2 ko lungs mein deta hai not covered in any textbook this is extremely extremely important for both aims as well as for need now you know that the blood is red because of a pigment which is known as hemoglobin right this everybody knows that the blood is red because it has a important pigment called hemoglobin in fact the blood has got cells right what are the cells of the blood 
the first cell of the blood is called the rbc or the red blood corpuscle or the red blood cell yes the second cell of the blood is known as the wbc you are absolutely right what is it called it's called the wbc or the white blood cell the third cell is referred to as the platelets right they are basically cell fragments remember every word that i am saying and this is one promise which i undertake in my class i promise that if you study from me i will make sure that hum jo topic kare usme se aisa koi mcq nahi hoga jo bahar se hoga we will be able to solve all the mcqs which can ever be asked i will be able to do that particular topic with you in detail par jab main bolti hu so when i do a particular topic main jo kuch bol rahi hu every word is important right for example jaise hi maine platelets bola i told you that platelets are not cells platelets are basically cell fragments What are they? Cell fragment. That means a very big cell. Tha. Can anybody tell me the name of that cell? Yes. Good. Well answered. The name of the cell was a megakaryocyte. So there was a big cell. The name of the cell is a megakaryocyte. This megakaryocyte breaks down. What does it do? It breaks down into small fragments, and those small fragments are called as platelets. so the blood contains three types of cells rbcs wbcs and cellular fragments called platelets platelets help in clotting of the blood wbc helps in protection of the blood and rbcs main function is to transport oxygen to the body and co2 away from the body so this transport happens because of hemoglobin rbc is red because of a pigment called hemoglobin this hemoglobin contains if you just break it down does it contain heme and globin so can i say heme plus globin gives you hemoglobin heme is iron yes and globin is a protein is that clear so this iron is the one which has the ability to bind with oxygen if you look carefully in every slide we are doing so much of extra information right you know the types of cells you know the fragments you know what is the big cell called you know what is the ferrous called you know what is globin it is the protein and you also know that it is ferrous which joins with oxygen yes cool perfect let's come to the types of hemoglobin which is very 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 important from aims as well as neat point of view now sabse pehle is pe aa jao jo sabse niche likha hai hbf hbf is known as the fetal hemoglobin jo fetus mein hota hai right fetus is the developing baby right the developing zygote jo develop ho raha hai abhi uterus mein hai develop ho raha hai usko hum fetus kehte hain is that clear now does the fetus require more oxygen or do adults you and me require more oxygen obviously the fetus kyunki fetus abhi develop ho raha hai so it requires much more oxygen is that clear is that clear understood the fetus requires more oxygen because it is developing the adult has developed so it does not require that much amount of oxygen ab kyunki fetus develop ho raha hai it requires more amount of oxygen iske paas special chains hain two alpha now remember the hemoglobin is made up of four chains राइट फोर चेन्स होती है और चारों चेन्स में आयरन लगा होता है तो टोटल आयरन कितना होगा फोर सो इसके पास कितनी चेन्स है चार चेन दो चेन अल्फा की और दो चेन गामा की दिस कम्स इन एमसीटल हीमोग्लोबिन दिस इज एडल्ट ए 97 परसेंट इज एच और कई बार थोड़ा सा हो जाता है एच बी ए टू वेर देर आर दो अल्फा इन टू द बीटा चेन हाउ मेनी चेन्स आर देर टोटल फोर फेरस मॉलिक्यूल्स कितने हैं टोटल चार any doubt still now i hope everything is getting clearer yes perfect right so now if we have to study the human circulatory system in detail let us look at the structure what all are we going to study we are going to study the heart which is a pumping organ most importantly sabse pehle hum padhenge blood vessels look at the gifs yes ye kya hai blood vessel iske andar kya flow kar raha hai iske andar kya flow kar raha hai blood look at this vessel also kya isme chote chote gaps hai Can you see small, small gaps? Can anybody tell me this? If you've ever looked at my previous webinars, you will be able to answer. If you, if you are an old student of mine, you should be able to answer. ये क्या है capillary? 
वॉट इज इट कॉल्ड कैपिलरी कैपिलरी में गैप्स होते हैं अगर मेरे यूट्यूब लेक्चर आप फॉलो कर रहे हैं वॉट आर द गैप्स कॉल्ड फेनेस्ट्रे इन्हीं गैप्स की वजह से एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज और एक्सचेंज ऑफ मटीरियल होता है right so we are going to read this in detail so we are going to read the blood vessel and blood vessels kaun si hai arteries choti arteries ka naam hai arterioles arteries aur arterioles kya carry karti hai oxygenated blood jisme oxygen zyada hota hai venules aur veins kya carry karti hai jisme oxygen ka volume कम होता है इज दैट क्लियर एंड फाइनली वी हैव कैपिलरीज कैपिलरीज आर दो पार्ट जहां पे एक्सचेंज होता है हैव यू एवर लुक्ड एट योर आईज If you ever look at your eyes, do you see those red, 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 very fine lines? Come on, yes or no on my screen? Correct. And those are known as capillaries, which cause exchange. They increase the surface area and they cause exchange. So now coming to blood vessels. First we will do the blood vessels and then we will come to the proper structure. Done. Chali aaye. Blood vessels. Intricate means you know. like this criss crossing with each other intricate network of tubes that transport blood throughout the body so the entire body is going to have a lot of blood vessels which are nothing but tubes which cause yes exactly so these are nothing but tubes which help in transport of blood across the body this is mentioned in very little textbooks and it is extremely important from mcq point of view very 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 important let us do this in detail so the blood vessels are made up of three layers what are the three layers of the blood vessels the outermost layer of the blood vessel is called as externa word is only telling us isme hame kuch matlab yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai bahar wala externa beech wala media aur andar wala interna so what are the three germ layers there is tunica externa there is tunica media and there is tunica interna externa is the outermost layer it is formed of connective tissue containing collagen dekhi body mein jahan par bhi skin banna hai jahan pe bhi blood vessels banna hai there has to be a tissue which makes it the tissue is called collagen now when the blood flows through the arteries does the artery do like this jab isme se blood flow karega yes did you see the previous gif let me show it to you let me show it to you see yes see when it is going see this also full ra band ho raha hai full ra band ho raha hai can you all see that everybody yes so this it will be the externa and the externa will be made up of elastic tissues because it needs to increase or decrease the diameter so tunica externa is outermost layer it's formed of connective tissue containing collagen and elastic fibers it also contains lymph vessels nerve fibers ye sari cheeze hain lymphatic vessel hai nerve fiber hai elastic fibers hai collagen hai this is the outermost layer which layer is this outermost layer tunica media is the middle layer it's made up of elastic connective tissue and smooth muscle fiber ye elastic hai क्या है ये इट इज वेरी वेरी इलास्टिक इलास्टिक का मतलब क्या होता है दिस विल यस दिस इज वन विच विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड एक्सपैंड क्यों कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड एक्सपैंड करेगा अकॉर्डिंग टू द अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड व्हिच इज एंटरिंग द इनर मोस्ट लेयर इज इलास्टिक मेम्ब्रेन और एंडोथिलियम दिस क्वेश्चन अलोन हैज कम इन एमसीक्यूज एटलीस्ट सेवन टू एट टाइम्स इट हैज कम इन वेरियस एमसीक्यू एग्जामिनेशन सो ब्लड वेसल की इनर मोस्ट लाइनिंग क्या होती है एंडोथिलियम अगर कोई बहुत पतला ब्लड वेसल होगा सबसे पतला ब्लड वेसल जिसने एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस करना है ऑक्सीजन देना है और सीओ टू लेना है बहुत पतला ब्लड वेसल इट्स अ वेरी थिन ब्लड वेसल इट हैज टू डू एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज विल इट बी मल्टीलियर्ड नो सो इफ इट हैज टू डू एक्सचेंज येस इफ इट हैज टू डू एक्सचेंज इट विल बी ओनली सिंगल लेड जस्ट वन लेड सिंगल लेड सो दिस सिंगल लेड इज कॉल्ड एज कैपिलरी तो अब आप मुझे बताइए इफ इट कम्स इन एमसीक्यूज वॉट इज द कवरिंग ऑफ द कैपिलरी कॉल्ड वॉट इज दिस कवरिंग ऑफ द कैपिलरी कॉल्ड सिंगल लेड इट इज कॉल्ड द एंडोथीलियम इनर मोस्ट कवरिंग इज कॉल्ड एंडोथीलियम आउटर कवरिंग इज कॉल्ड एपीथीलियम जनरली सो दिस विल बी एपीथीलियम इनर मोस्ट कवरिंग ऑफ ब्लड वेसल इज कॉल्ड एज एंडोथीलियम वॉट आर द ब्लड वेसल्स मेड अप ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ थ्री कवरिंग आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग विच इज मेड अप ऑफ कोलाजिन इज एक्सटर्नल बीच वाली कवरिंग विच इज मेड अप ऑफ स्मूथ मसल स्मूथ मसल मीन्स इट इज नॉट अंडर आर कंट्रोल आई के नॉट कंट्रोल की ब्लड वेसल मोटा हो रहा है या पतला इट इज नॉट स्केलेटल मसल इट इज स्मूथ मसल इन वॉलेंट्री 
let us call it involuntary and innermost lining is called tunica interna the tunica interna is also known as endothelium right so tunica intima it is also called the endothelium c the innermost single layer so ye kya kehlayega capillary agar sirf ye hai aur iske bahar endothelium hai itko capillary kehte hain मैंने आपको कैपिलरीज कहा दिखाई थी पूरी बॉडी में होती बट वेरी इजी टू सी इन द आई दिस इज इंटिमा और बाहर वाली लेयर क्या मीडिया और बाहर वाली क्या कहलाती है एक्सटर्ना सो एक्सटर्ना मीडिया इंटिमा इंटिमा इज मेड अप ऑफ एंडोथीलियम आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू एवरीबडी यस सो दिस इज द ब्लड वेसल सी दिस इज द ब्लड वेसल वॉट इज द इनर मोस्ट कपरिंग ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल कॉल्ड एनी डाउट Is that clear, everybody? Yes, perfect. Chaliye, let's move ahead. So let's come to the human heart in detail. You see this area in between the two lungs. See, this will be lung number one. Let me draw it with a black colored pen. Let me draw yes, and let's say this is lung number two. So this is right lung, and let call it be left. So can you see this little space in between? can you see this little space which is occupied by the what is this space called this space is another mcq question comes multiple times is referred to as the mediastinum what is this called it's called the mediastinum this part this part is called the apex what is it called it's called the apex which side is the apex bent to the apex is towards the left side so this is the apex the apex is towards the left side you can see that and this part this part on top from where you see the blood vessels are coming out the major blood vessels is called the base right so this is the base and that is the apex any doubts about base about apex or about mediastinum any doubts are you all understanding yes super cool chaliye so human heart occupies most of the mediastinum i told you what is mediastinum it is the space between the leg between the two lungs which are occupied by the heart so it is a space between the lungs right the central region of the thorax thorax is this chest cavity the central region is occupied by the human heart heart's apex is the pointed inferior portion i have told you this is the apex it is a pointed part yes you can see it is it below yes right so it could be called the inferior and did i tell you that it is towards the left side yes so it is pointed it is inferior it is towards the left yes absolutely you know it the part on top is broad it is on top superior yes it is where the attachment of the large vessels can you all see these large vessels coming out yes can you see these large vessels coming out from the base yes any doubts about the generalization general location general position any doubts anything that you haven't been able to understand super cool moving ahead yes we have another 15 20 minutes for today's class let's see how much more we can do it's situated in the thorax it between the lungs we know that the apex is formed by the left ventricle right so we should know this is the left ventricle this is the bottom part called the left ventricle the left ventricle forms the apex of the heart where does it rest it rests on the diaphragm what is the function of the diaphragm the diaphragm separates the thoracic oblique the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity so on top you have the thoracic cavity the bottom part you have the abdominal cavity and what is this in between the two this will be the diaphragm any doubts right perfect the human heart usually measures around 12 cm in length and 9 cm in breadth it is enclosed in a double membrane this is very 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 important from mcq point of view so the heart is covered on the outside by a sac the sac is fibrous right to hold the heart serous that means it is moist do you want the heart to become dry right you know in winters the lips become dry and chapped do you want the internal organs to become dry no so the internal organs be it lung be it liver be it kidney be it pancreas be it stomach be it uterus be it ovary be the bladder they are always covered by a 
moist covering that moist covering is called the serous covering if i am talking about the abdominal covering right agar main abdomen ki baat karu agar main abdominal cavity ki baat karu to us covering ko hum what is that covering called us covering ko yes you are right we call it the peritoneal covering right but the covering of the heart is called as the pericardium dekho bachcho cardium means the heart peri means around right around so any covering around the heart will be called as pericardium right outer membrane inner membrane outer membrane ab heart ki do coverings hongi maan lijiye ye heart hai it will have two coverings the outer membrane will be called the parietal pericardium it's very thick it it needs to protect the heart it needs to hold the heart so the outer covering is called parietal pericardium viscera means hollow internal organ a hollow organ right heart is going to pump it's a hollow organ so the internal covering ye andar ki covering kya kehlayegi visceral peritoneum so heart ke do coverings hai bahar this is very important from mcq bahar ki covering parietal pericardium andar ki covering is called as visceral pericardium and dono coverings ke beech mein aapko space nazar aa rahi hai can you see a green arrow between both the coverings so outer covering is known as parietal pericardium inner covering is known as visceral pericardium the visceral pericardium is serous or it is moist so in dono ke beech ki jo space hai us space ka naam hota hai pericardial cavity there is a very narrow space i repeat the heart is covered by a covering the outer covering is called as parietal pericardium the inner covering is called as visceral pericardium dono coverings ke beech mein space which is known as a pericardial cavity is pericardial cavity ke andar fluid hoga known as the pericardial fluid what is the function of the pericardial fluid pericardial fluid ka kaam kya hota hai see when the heart is continuously beating right so the heart is beating it can cause rubbing of the two membranes just rub your hands like this for 2 seconds when you rub your hand does it cause heat production because of friction yes so when the heart is continuously beating it could cause heat production because of friction and this heat production is harmful for the heart so the fluid between the two layers of the pericardium will decrease the friction or cause frictionless movement it will cause protection from shock or any mechanical injury so i repeat the heart is located the apex is downwards the base is topwards yes we've done it right the apex is shifted towards the left the apex is where the left ventricle is there correct it occupies a space in the mediastinum it's around 9 cm in breadth and 12 cm in length it is above the diaphragm the diaphragm is the one my dear children yes which separates the thoracic or the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity it occupies a space which is in between the two lungs the space in between the two lungs is called as mediastinum the heart is covered on the outside by the pericardium the outer pericardium is called as yes absolutely parietal pericardium the inner pericardium is known as visceral pericardium dono ke beech mein pericardial space jiske andar pericardial fluid which will act as shock absorber or which will cause friction less movement that brings us to the end of the first 10 slide of today's class any doubts anything that you haven't understood yes okay so see see this this is the covering can you see so the outer one the outer one will be called pp the inner one will be called as vp visceral pericardium parietal pericardium and in between you will have pericardial fluid any doubts so you have yes you have per parietal pericardium and visceral pericardium correct this will be the apex correct this will be the base any 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 doubts perfect let's move ahead yes okay so this is how it functions it functions in synchronization it functions together to bring about circulation this is again very 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 important before we actually get into the working of the heart it is very important to know what are the layers of the heart what are the you know parts of the heart only then would we enter into the functioning of the heart correct so 
the heart wall is made up of three layers. How many layers are there? There are three layers. The outermost covering. Now, I told you right in the beginning of the lecture, and this is the most important thing. I'll do a quick revision. I told you that when we have an embryo, what is the embryo? How many layers is it? Three layers. What is the outermost layer? Ko kya kehte? Yes, you all know it. Ectoderm. बीच की लेयर को क्या कहते हैं करेक्ट एवरीबडी इट्स कॉल्ड द मीसोडर्म और अंदर की लेयर को क्या कहते हैं करेक्ट इट इज कॉल्ड द एंडोडर्म करेक्ट सो वी हैव द एक्टोडर्म वी हैव द मीसोडर्म एंड वी हैव द एंडोडर्म दीज आर द थ्री जर्म लेयर्स ऑफ द हार्ट सिमिलरली द हार्ट इज आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ थ्री लेयर्स राइट द हार्ट वॉल द मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट हार्ट वॉल मींस द लेट मी राइट इट हियर द मसल ऑफ द हार्ट इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री करेक्ट Three layers. The outer layer is called the epicardium, right? It is next to the visceral pericardium. आपको पता है अगर ये heart है आपको ये भी पता होना चाहिए. Please pay attention here. Yes, everybody is super cool. ये जो outer layer है ये क्या इसका नाम हमने क्या रखा था? Outer layer का नाम क्या रखा था? Parietal pericardium. और अंदर वाली layer का नाम क्या रखा था? Yes, visceral pericardium. क्या रखा था विस्ट्रल पेरिकार्डियम सो बाहर की लेयर वॉज पेराइटल पेरिकार्डियम लेट मी रेजिस अंदर की लेयर वॉज विस्ट्रल पेरिकार्डियम तो विस्ट्रल पेरिकार्डियम के बिल्कुल नीचे कौन होगा मसल ऑफ द हार्ट सो वॉट इज एट मसल ऑफ द हार्ट कॉल करेक्ट एपी कार्डियम वॉट इज एट मसल ऑफ द हार्ट एपी कार्डियम बिल्कुल ठीक सो मसल हार्ट की कितनी है तीन आउटर मोस्ट एपिकार्डियम बीच वाली मसल यू सी हाउ थिक इट इज सी द मेन मसल मायो का मतलब ही मसल होता है दोस्तों यू बीन अटेंडिंग क्लासेस विद मी नो दिस इन डिटेल राइट एंड अंदर की मसल क्या होती है एंडोकार्डियम सो आउटर मोस्ट इज द एपिकार्डियम मायोकार्डियम मिडल पार्ट द थिकेस्ट मसल एंड यू नो मैंने आपको तब भी कहा था That the innermost part of the heart will come from endoderm. इसलिए innermost blood vessel का नाम क्या रखा था हमने? Innermost blood vessel का नाम हमने क्या रखा था? Yes, endothelium. क्या नाम रखा था? Correct, endothelium. So epicardium and myocardium are mesodermal, right? They are mesodermal. Right from this, from the middle layer, and the innermost layer is from endoderm or endodermal in origin. So the three layers of the muscle are the outermost, known as epicardium, the middle or the thickest one made up of mesoderm, known as myocardium, which helps with contraction of the heart. The inner one, which is a very thin layer made up of endoderm, made up of simple squamous epithelium. राइट एनिमल टिश्यूज में आपको करवाऊंगी वेर आई विल टीच यू सिंपल स्कॉमोस एपिथिलियम ऑल दो लेक्चर ऑफ एनिमल टिश्यू सिंपल स्कॉमोस एपिथिलियम आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट ऑन यूट्यूब लेट्स मूव अहेड ये परफेक्ट लेट्स मूव अहेड सो यू सी दिस डायग्राम एवरीबडी करेक्ट सो यू हैव द हार्ट वॉल विच इज मेड अप ऑफ एपिकार्डियम the thick one made up of myocardium and the inner most made up of endocardium which is simple squamous epithelium right you have the visceral pericardium and the parietal pericardium correct visceral or parietal pericardium ke beech mein space hoti hai known as pericardial cavity which has nothing but pericardial fluid what could be the function of this fluid to cause frictionless movement and to act as shock absorber any doubts perfect Yes. Now let's come into some details of myocardium. This is a class which will really help you to score well in your AIMS oblique your NEET exam. Really, this these are things which are not mentioned in any textbooks, but they really come in AIMS, right? कुछ तो मसल के बारे में हम और लर्न करते हैं एंड देन वी विल गो इन टू द प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर फंक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट यू सी टुडे क्लास इफ यू लुक एट इट केयरफुली इफ यू आर देयर लिस्निंग टू द क्लास इज नॉट लाइक हाउ यूर नॉर्मल क्लास ट्वेल्व सर्कुलेटरी और योर क्लास इलेवन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम स्टार्ट की सीधा हार्ट स्टार्ट कर दिया कोई पेरिकार्डियल टिश्यू नहीं बताया कोई मीडिया साइनम नहीं बताया कुछ नहीं बताया सीधा नो राइट मैंने ब्लड पे भी दो वेबिनार्स लिए हैं वो भी सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम के अंडर लिए हैं तो एंड दो रिकॉर्डिंग्स आर वेरी मच अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब फॉर यू टू नो हाउ टीचिंग एट वेदांतु इज डन इट हैज टू बी डन इन डिटेल राइट नाउ यू सी इफ यू लुक एट द रेस्ट ऑफ द दिस इज वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू कम इन डिटेल अबाउट द हार्ट यस सी पूरा स्ट्रक्चर करके देन आई विल कम टू द फंक्शनिंग एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग माय पॉइंट सो इट इज नेवर गोइंग टू हैपन कि आपको फटाफट से कुछ करवा दिया और आपको पता भी नहीं है कि क्या है राइट सो फर्स्ट लेट्स कम टू मायोकार्डियम नाउ मायोकार्डियम आर द मसल्स राइट कार्डियक मीन्स हार्ट मायो मीन्स मसल्स वॉट आर स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स आर वॉलेंट्री मसल्स जो हमारे स्केलेटन में लगे होते हैं 
the beauty of myocardium is that the myocardium or the heart muscle ye hamari body ke striated ya muscle ke muscle jaisa bhi hota hai voluntary muscle jaisa bhi hota hai aur jo stomach ka muscle hai jo intestine ka muscle hai jo hamare control mein nahi hai involuntary hai ye unke jaisa bhi hota hai so it it is like a combination of both these muscles ये स्ट्राइटेड क्यों दिखता है वाई डज द कार्डियक मसल अपेयर स्ट्राइटेड इट कैन कम इन एन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन द लाइंस और द स्ट्राइशन स्ट्राइशन क्या होती है लाइंस राइट सो इफ यू लुक एट द मसल मसल ऐसे दिखती है लाइंस होती हैं ये लाइंस किसकी बनी होती हैं दीज आर द लाइंस व्हिच आर मेड अप ऑफ आइदर एक्टिन और मेड अप ऑफ मायोसिन सो दीज लाइंस आर प्रेजेंट राइट इन द कार्डियक मसल लेट मी मूव वन मोर स्लाइड एंड आई विल टेल यू देखो बेटा This is the muscle. I have taken a lot of YouTube lectures on this. You must see them. ये आ गया आपका नर्व and the nerve will tell you whether you have to contract or not. या ये कोई भी सिग्नल आ गया any signal, right? Heart में तो अपना सिग्नल होता है कोई भी सिग्नल आ गया So muscles उन सिग्नल को अंदर ले जाने के लिए muscles के पास ऐसे network होता है So that whenever the signal comes, the signal can be taken inside and the muscle can contract. Can you see the black markings? can you all see the black markings can you see that how these black markings are increasing the surface area of the muscle right varna muscle aise hoti ab muscle kaisi hai dekhiye so can you see a difference in a and b can you see b has more surface area come on everybody yes cool understanding yes so ye surface area badhayenge and can you see a signal jo bhi signal upar se aayega us signal ko ye bahut deep leke ja sakta hai it's taking the signal inside it's taking the signal deep because it's there this is known as t tubule kya kehte hain isko transverse tubule it's going in the depth of the muscle therefore it is known as transverse tubule so t tubule or transverse tubule are found in skeletal muscles as well as cardiac muscles right so the membrane this membrane the red colored membrane is called as sarcolemma राइट प्लाज्मा लेमा इज द नेम ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन मसल की मेम्ब्रेन को हम सार्को लेमा कहते हैं जैसे कि मसल के साइटोप्लाज्म को हम सार्को प्लाज्म कहते हैं राइट और मसल के एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम को हम सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कहते हैं सो सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सार्को प्लाज्म ये सब क्या है मसल के स्पेसिफिक नेम है मसल की मेम्ब्रेन का नाम क्या है सार्को लेमा सो सार्को जो लेमा होता है उसमें इमेजिनेशन से अंदर जा रहा है क्या जा रहा है टी ट्रिब्यूल टी ट्रिब्यूल क्या स्प्रेड करेगा डीपोलराइजेशन वॉट इज डीपोलराइजेशन डीपोलराइजेशन इज दिस सिग्नल जो आया है सिग्नल कहां से आया है या तो मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट से आया है या सिग्नल एक्शन पोटेंशियल से आया है और ये सिग्नल कैसे स्प्रेड होगा एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम तक कैसे जाएगा कैसे सिग्नल स्प्रेड होगा ची ट्रिब्यूट नाउ सो दिस इज हाउ द सिग्नल विल स्प्रेड देखिए सिग्नल मसल की मेम्ब्रेन तक आएगा और अंदर जाएगा अंदर जाके अंदर सिग्नल क्यों जाना चाहिए क्योंकि मसल के अंदर होता है एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम जो मसल का होता है उसका नाम होता है सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ये सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कैल्शियम स्टोर करके रखता है सो so, देखिए अब मसल ये है तो सिग्नल यही रह गया अब ये मसल है तो देखिए सिग्नल हैज गॉन इनसाइड सिग्नल हैज गॉन इनसाइड सिग्नल हैज गॉन इनसाइड वॉट इज दिस कॉल्ड टी ट्यूब्यूल सो एक बार सिग्नल टी ट्यूब्यूल तक गया इट गोज इन साइड इन टू द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ने कैल्शियम रिलीज किया एंड कैल्शियम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर टू थिंग्स कैल्शियम इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ब्लड क्लॉटिंग एंड कैल्शियम इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर येस यू आर एब्सोल्यूटली राइट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ब्लड क्लॉटिंग एंड इट इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन इज दैट क्लियर सो मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड ब्लड क्लॉटिंग के लिए दोनों के दोनों के लिए कैल्शियम की बहुत जरूरत होती है सो दिस इज हाउ द मायोकार्डियम लुक्स द मायोकार्डियम इज कवर्ड बाय सार्को लेमा इट हैज इमेजिनेशन इन साइड लाइक दिस गोइंग इन साइड विच आर नोन एज टी ट्यूब्यूल टी ट्यूब्यूल की वजह से सिग्नल इन साइड जाता है सिग्नल अंदर जाकर कहा जाता है सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम के पास सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम कैल्शियम रिलीज करते हैं जिनकी वजह से मसल्स जो है वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करती है सो दिस इज योर मायोकार्डियम और द मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट राइट सो यू सी हाउ कोलेस्ट्रॉल लिपिड एवरीथिंग इज फ्लोइंग एंड देन द मसल्स विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वंस द सिग्नल इज 
caught inside. This is the blood vessel. Blood vessel will have RBCs, WBCs, platelets, cholesterol, lipid, VLDL, everything flowing inside it. Is that clear? Any doubts? Right? Let us do what is the difference between cardiac muscles and your normal skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscle, wo muscle is skeleton ke attached to skeleton. They are under our control and therefore they are called as, yes, they are called as voluntary. Cardiac muscle fibers of smaller diameter than most of the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscle ka diameter itna hota hai. Cardiac muscles ka diameter itna hota hai. Cardiac muscle fibers jo hote hai, if you ever look at them, ye aise hote hai, lag bhag cylindrical hote hai. In me sirf ek ya do nuclei hote hai, wo bhi centrally placed nuclei. Whereas, agar aap skeletal muscle dekho, so this is cardiac muscle, this will be your skeletal muscle, in ke nuclei periphery pe hai. Where are the nuclei? Skeletal muscle on the periphery. One very, very, very important thing I want to discuss in this class before we move any further is, see, this is the cardiac muscle. So, ye muscle number one hai. You see this junction here and let's see this is muscle number two and you see this junction here and you have muscle number three. This junction which is there between the muscles is known as intercalated disc. Can you see, wo linearly arranged hai? Maine aapko dikhaya hai. एक के ऊपर एक कैसे लाइन से लगे हुए हैं एंड दो कार्डियक मसल सेल्स के बीच में इंटरकैलेटेड डिस्क होती है ये जंक्शन होती है राइट दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ टेशिया अडहेरेंस दैट मींस दे आर स्टक टू ईच अदर पर इसके बीच में थोड़ा थोड़ा गैप भी होगा सो दिस कंटेन्स चैनल्स दिस कंटेन्स गैप्स दिस कंटेन्स पैसेजेस नाउ अगर वन सेल के पास ऑक्सीजन नहीं है सो द टू एंड थ्री will pass the oxygen. Agar 2 ke paas CO2 accumulate ho raha hai, to 2 apna CO2 kisi aur ko de dega, aadha idhar de dega. So this helps them to behave with each other in conjunction. Or you can say that they behave in each other in a very helpful manner. Right? Agar kisi ke paas oxygen nahi hai, to usko intercalated disc se fata fata oxygen diya jayega. Agar kisi ke paas ATP nahi hai, to usko intercalated disc se fata fata ATP energy oxygen diya jayega. So this helps them to receive oxygen. This helps them to function as, in a very very simple word, as a family. So, therefore, the cardiac muscles, agar man lo signal bhej na hai, kahi se calcium release ho gaya, to fata fat sab jaga calcium pohon jayega. Are you getting my point? I'm speaking very slowly and deliberately. Man li ji, yahaan calcium release ho gaya. Upar aur niche calcium jana, intercalated dis se fata fat calcium chala jayega. Idhar signal a gaya. The signal has come here that the muscle should contract. 3 will immediately send it to 2, 2 will send it to 1 through the intercalated disc. Right? So, signal transduction, calcium release, oxygen giving, all of this is done in a synchronous manner, fata fat easily given to everybody through the intercalated disc. So, the most important thing of the myocardium that is very important, jo isko as a family, isko as a unit behave karne deta hai, is nothing but the intercalated discs. Any doubts till now? Right? So, you have the skeletal muscle, you have the muscle fibers. Dekho, ye aapka skeletal muscle hai. Skeletal muscle mein, can you see the nucleus is on the periphery? Look at this, look at the marking that I'm making. Nucleus is on the periphery. Correct? But if you look here, the nucleus is central. Right? One to two nucleus maximum in the center and intercalated discs for the muscle to communicate with the adjacent or the adjoining muscle. So, this adjoining muscle ke saath, intercalated disc ke saath, communicate karega. Any doubts still here? So, in today's class, we started, yes, we started with a closed circulatory system. We came to what are vessels. We did the lining of the vessel, the externa, media, intima. I told you about endothelium in detail. We came to the structure of the heart. I told you where it is. We discussed about media steinum. We came to the apex of the heart, the base of the heart. We did the coverings of the heart. Yes, everybody, very. these are the things which are often overlooked which are often not done in regular classes, which are often overlooked. This, first of all, immediately coming to the structure and functioning of the heart. But no, 
a lot of mcqs come from these particular things also is that clear are you understanding we came to the pericardium in detail yes we came to the visceral pericardium we came to the serous pericardium we came to pericardial fluid parietal pericardium we came to the muscle of the heart i told you about myocardium epicardium endocardium i told you endocardium is made up of endothelium again very 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 important from mcq point of view yes and then we discussed कि ऐसी क्या प्रॉपर्टी है मसल्स ऑफ द हार्ट की जो उन मसल्स को बहुत जल्दी और एज अ यूनिट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करने में हेल्प करती है दैट इज बिकॉज वन मसल सेल कैन इमीजिएटली कम्युनिकेट विद द अदर मसल सेल सो व्हाट इज दिस जंक्शन बिटवीन द टू मसल सेल्स यस द जंक्शन इज नोन एज द इंटर कैलेटेड डिस्क विच हेल्प वन मसल सेल टू कम्युनिकेट विद द अदर मसल सेल्स right so what are the special features the cardiac muscles are involuntary they are not under our control in ke beech mein interwoven intercalated discs hain adjacent cells ke beech mein intercalated discs hain jinki wajah se ye ek dusre ke sath communicate kar sakti hain so intercalated disc ki wajah se when they communicate with each other they function as a unit and the heart functions properly they do not make a oxygen debt agar iske paas oxygen nahi hai it will immediately be provided by this intercalated disc to kisi ke paas bhi oxygen ki kami oxygen less oxygen debt nahi hota hai is that clear any doubts anything that you have not understood yes so with this we are going to come to the internal structure but when i look at the watch looks like we have nearly come to the end of the session yes so i am going to quickly take another webinar in the next few days and in that next webinar i am going to do the internal structure but i am not going to go like that i am going to show you how wonderful are the slides for the internal structure right so i am going to tell you first of all what is the auricle what is the ventricle dono ventricle ke beech mein interventricular septum dono auricles ke beech mein interauricular septum right auricular ventricular septum and you see this big pink color is the wall known as myocardium so hum septum sare detail mein discuss karenge interventricular interauricular and then we will come to each of the ventricles are you getting my point sare ke sare ventricles discuss kiye jayenge see and you see how the how heart conducts maine abhi kaha ki intercalated disc kaise apna message fatafat pahunchayenge yes so see ye you see the red colored one kaise signal fatafat ja raha hai so yahan se yahan se signal start hoga heart mein this is where the signal will start how will how is it quickly going can you just follow the red one you look at the words sa node av node right this is called the right and left bundle of his and these are called the purkinje fibers how does it go so quickly and how does it heart contract and relax as one unit that is because of the intercalated discs right everybody so this is how everything will be done with you in detail aapko valves padhaye jayenge chordae tendine padhaye jayenge opening closing everything will be done in detail but because that is the beginning of the part 2 of the heart we are going to start with that in the next class would that be fine every day and varicose veins everything will be explained to you in detail so i hope you enjoyed today's amazing session yes i hope you already are watching all our sessions you are following us on youtube and you are already enlisted as a student of vedantu if not this is your time to embark on a journey which can totally change the course of your life and which can bring you very close to your goal if your goal is need 2020 or need 21 you must 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 join vedantu i'll see you there all right then guys this is dr vani on behalf of vedantu i'll take your leave for today i hope you enjoyed the session leave behind your comments for anything that you want me to do for you i shall do the needful till then take care bye bye see you soon